Beano Town Flea Market, just waiting to be menaced. Are you sure we're in the right place, Dennis? I don't see any fleas. <laughs> flea Market just means jumble seal, Payface. Exactly. And that's where Nasha comes in. We're going to put the fleas into <laughs> Flea Market. Nash, <laughs> Nash. <laughs> A rare baked bean tin. Good work, Nasha. We menaced the whole market. Not quite. Yes. I knew you'd try something like that. You're so predictable. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? You'll never outthink a menace. Wait, what's this? The Book of the Menace. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. <laughs> Dennis, your menacing days are numbered. <laughs> Walter's watering his flowers. But now my flower is going to water Walter. Uh, hey, Walter, want to smell my flower? <laughs> nice try, Menace. Now why don't you smell my flower? Huh? <laughs> 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 Walter got lucky with the flower prank, but there's no way he'll be ready for the stink balloon. Oh, what's in this stuff? My secret stink recipe. The sweat from my gym socks, an overripe gorgonzola pie. Oh, I was saving that. Huh? And something I combed out of Nash's fur after he rolled around in a dung heap. So this time, when he opens the gate, he'll set off my patented jellinator. <laughs> I made a few modifications to your jelly contraption, Dennis. I think it's a big improvement. <laughs> Face it, Dennis, you're completely outclassed, outwitted, and out pranked. <laughs> Got to find out how Walter's predicting all our pranks. <laughs> right, I've hooked up the Nash cam to your computer, Dennis. Okay, Nasha, ready for your mission? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Nashcam is online. Ah, oh, he's just doing homework. Go in closer. Okay. <gasps> That's not homework. Those are pranks. No use spying on me, Minis. I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> So that's how Walter keeps beating us. But where did he get that book? <laughs> this is the last place we pranked Walter. Maybe it's where he found that book. Go away. There's no one here. Hey, we come in peace. We're not here to menace. I just want to know about a book. <laughs> It's like an old diary with, with diagrams and, and pictures in it. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I sell a lot of books. Yes, but this one was filled with instructions for pranks. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I do remember that one. The Book of the Menace. Never seen anything like it before. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. 
Book of the Menace. Yes, that's right. I got it from an old lady who was getting rid of a box of junk. In fact, there she is now. Huh? Gran? <laughs> Hello, Dennis. Hello, Nasha. Gran, do you know anything about the Book of the Menace? Well, I should do. It's mine. Yours? Of course. It's been passed down through generations. Menacing runs in our family, and all the pranks are written down in that. There are even some from when your dad was a kid. Your dad gave up menacing when you were born, so I was going to pass it on to you on your next birthday. Then why did you give it away to the flea market? I didn't. <gasps> Unless... Oh! <gasps> no, it must have fallen into the box when I was clearing the attic. <gasps> Where is it now? Walter's got it. What? No! It's got all the menacing secrets in it. Every prank, every trick, from water balloons to whoopee cushions. Why, in the wrong hands, it could be the end of menacing forever! <laughs> oh, Walter. Give me that book. It's my grand's. Oh. How do you like your eggs, Dennis? Boiled, fried, or rotten? You'll never beat me, Dennis. I have all your secrets. <laughs> Nash? Oh, Nasha, I had a terrible nightmare. Walter started using Gran's book to pull pranks on us. It was horrible. <laughs> but it's given me an idea. Come on. It's time for Operation Switchback. What's Operation Switchback? The plan to get the Book of the Menace back from Walter. Then why don't we call it Operation Get the Book of the Menace Back from Walter? Because it's a secret. We need a code word. Oh. Oh, can we call it Operation Pie? Uh, fine. Operation Pie. <coughs> Mission accomplished. I'll bake the trap. Nasha, you and Curly run communications. What about me? Look out. Go. Oh. And pie eating. Yes. Don't try and pull any pranks, Dennis. I'm ready for anything. Look, I know you've been out pranking me lately. Glad to see you know when you're beaten by a superior intellect. But I'm not ready to hand over my pranking crown just yet. How about a challenge? A final prank-off to see who can play the most tricks in Beano Town. No, oh, don't be absurd. I don't pull pranks. <laughs> Unless they're on you. Ah, but if you win, I'll hand over my pranks and give up menacing forever. <gasps> no more menacing? <gasps> I'll be a Beano Town hero. They'll build statues to me. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up? Just waiting for the right moment. You're too late. Look. <laughs> Dennis, you're finished. I win the prank off. I pranked everyone in the street. You? <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, but it was just to stop Dennis. It was all his idea. Then why have you got the Book of the Menace? No, oh, no it's not mine. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> Team, so what are we gonna do now, Dennis? Try out some of the pranks in that book? As soon as I've written this one down, Walter should have known. You can't learn menacing from a book. You have to be born with it. Woo! <laughs> I suppose 
you think this is funny? Oh, don't be mad, Walter. Your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> Dear, well, as this crest growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh, so detention this weekend won't bother you then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once in a lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? <laughs> Bye-bye. Dennis, huh? what are we going to do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens who are vampires. And they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was going to get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants. And fast... Who's daddy's little darling, then? So, cress, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. Oh, How about I give you seeds for birth? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favourably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping bees, raspberry rocket, coffee... <coughs> Ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. If this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Is past its best before date. <laughs> if comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> <laughs> to the hot house! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, it has to, Curly. We can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget your promise to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. Ah, oh. uh, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyfees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's <laughs> <old. laughs> I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must 
be the Venus flytrap jeans. This is what perfect crest looks like. Who's ever seen crest that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big crest looks like. When they're grown up, crest heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Oh, I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on comic convention missing detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The unusually large and bitey cress. It's got larger and bitier. Ah! Ah! There may still be a bit more dodging to do. <laughs> I told you it's not a crest. You don't see crest this big and eating things. Dennis? Uh, Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see crest this big and eating things. And that's because uh, this is how fully grown crest carries on. Kids normally grow crest for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our crest got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown crest is pies. <laughs> It must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown crest experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pains. What? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Disposing of pies past the sell by day. Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. OK, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing! It's a good job we also have national power. My study. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. Oh. Mm. Mm. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie face. One problem at a time. Five 
five minutes to finish today's experiment. With my personal junior genius lab kit, that should present no problem, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Creature, my beak is broken. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, then pair up with Walter, Dennis. What? Oh, surely you two can work together for five minutes. <laughs> Doc! We've had to evacuate the entire school because of the mm, smell. Do you have anything to say for yourselves for ruining Mrs. Creature's experiment? Yes, Headmaster. It was all his fault. I told you not to touch the beaker when the liquid oozes. You have zero understanding of slime production. What's there to understand? Puerile pranks, tawdry tricks, all child's play. Child's play? Menacing takes skill and precision timing. You couldn't menace a dead fish. I could do that in my sleep. Whereas you wouldn't last one afternoon completing my to-do list. What? Measuring the straightness of my tie with a ruler? Yeah, really hard, Walter. I do more than that. I... Boys, boys, boys. It seems we have here a classic lack of mutual understanding. But I have the perfect solution. You will each spend this afternoon living each other's lives. <laughs> I've spoken to your parents and it's agreed. This afternoon you will live according to the habits and rules of the other's household. <laughs> Stop! Swap! Huh? I'll explain later, Nasha. It's complicated. Here is Walter's jam-packed schedule for this afternoon. Jingle Composer Club. Toothpick Modeler's Symposium with the Colonel. Competitive bird watching. Swimming pool mathletics. Pet grooming. <laughs> Where do you keep your garden shears? <laughs> Dennis's schedule? <laughs> For what? His after-school activities. Uh, he doesn't exactly have a schedule. He, he lives in the moment. <laughs> this will be a breeze, just as I thought. <laughs> I do hope Dennis is coping. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you've studied your chords. Stand straight, shoulders back, no slouching! <laughs> now, after me, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Um, usually Dennis just says something like, Rock! Rock? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Bird watching? Huh. Yeah. Let's liven this up, Nasha. Snake! Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, this isn't the sort of thing we do with Dennis, Walter. Hmm. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> So, this is a toothpick modeler's symposium. Hmm. Oh. Play with B can't be that hard. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What's swimming pool mathletics anyway? Three times seven is twenty-one. Four, Four times, times seven is twenty-eight. Five times seven, Dennis. Oh, I know this one. Cannonball! <laughs> so far, you're not doing very well at being Walter, Dennis. I knew you'd find my life too hard. Meanwhile, I'm blitzing yours. Treehouse tidied, a study regime for B. I've even introduced the din makers to the principles of classical harmony. That's not being a menace, Walter. That sounds like things you do. Epic fail. 
Boys, you have one more chance to live each other's life before the day is done, or I'll pair you up in every class until the term ends. 17 times 32 is 544. 18 times 32 is 576. 19 times 32 is... Baby. OK, time for plan D, G and W. We need to help each other if we're going to get through to test this experiment. Very well. Listen carefully. After swimming pool mathletics, it's bath time. Make sure you use plenty of soap. Then it's afternoon tea. This is very important. You must use the scone fork. It's second from the right. Do not use the Battenberg fork. OK, but, Walter, you've got to think like a menace. Remember, fun is always just around the corner. Come, Claudius. We have menacing to attend to. And it's bath time for you and me. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Lots of soap, eh? Low setting, I think. <laughs> Today with some menacing equipment. Ooh. 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 <sighs> right, Nasha. All I have to do is get through the scone test, and life goes back to normal. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> um, uh... mm -hmm. He certainly looks. And smells the part. Oh! Not the Battenberg fork! Uh, use the second one! The second one! Ha! Mm -hmm. sure. Just goes to show you can complete a successful experiment without any mischief. A plus for you, Dennis. Yes! But Walter still has to pass his test. Oh, uh, Walter excels at everything he does. <laughs> He'll be just fine, I assure you. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> on this device. <coughs> Too late, anyway. Postman's way out of range now. Strangely quiet today. Oh, no! I told you not to waste time arranging the pranks according to the Dewey Decimal System. But they need it sorted out. I failed. Maybe not. <gasps> no! I, well, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> But I could. <laughs> Do it, Claudius. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> what are you doing, Walter? Being Dennis, sir. Mm, yes, I, I suppose you are. Well, well done. Very good. <laughs> so, what have you uh, learned today, Walter? Well, that having no rules can be somewhat liberating. And you, Dennis? Ah, well, I learned that, um, uh, that everyone needs a bath sometimes. <laughs> Yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. You have successfully completed today's experiment. <laughs> Would you care to join us for afternoon tea, Headmaster? Thank you, Walter. I never say no to a scone. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who knew bath time could be so much fun? Follow me. 